I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my mic to stay on. All right. Um, I saw a comment on a few videos ago. I'm sorry I haven't gotten to it quick enough. But anyways, I saw a video. Someone asking for me to do a makeup, hair, and or just like, you know, this area in general when it comes to firefighting and what I do if I wear makeup, how I wear makeup, how I do my hair for when I wear the big ol' helmet and things like that. So yeah. So first I'm gonna start out with how I do my hair. So when I first got in, the ponytail regulation was not a thing. So I never did that. But now that it is, I definitely prefer a ponytail over a bun when it comes to wearing the helmet because the helmet is not made for like people to have bulky hair on the bottom. It is not. So what I used to do was I had a low bun, right? And it'd be like so. And that little strap on the bottom, it's supposed to go like all the way down here, but it never reached there. So my helmet never like fit me correctly because I just always had this bun here. But now that the ponytail regulation is allowed in the Air Force, I be wearing ponytails and or braids to keep my hair to my face and make my helmet fit better. Damn, am I really gonna have to braid my hair multiple times? Okay, one of the first looks that I mostly do is like a middle part. I like a middle part. I don't know. I used to do a lot of side parts, but I do middle parts now. And I have bangs now. I used to not, but I impulsively cut them during quarantine. I'm sure all of us did. Uh, so lately what I have been doing is uh, braiding these middle pieces. I grab just kind of my front pieces here and then I split it into two. This is like my my quicker braid that I like to do because I just, I don't want to spend a lot of time on my hair. So anyways, uh, I take these two pieces and I just start like wrapping them like that. And then I pick up some hair and then join it with that piece, twist it, pick up hair, join it with that piece, twist it. So I don't pick up hair on this back piece. I pick up hair only on this front piece. Do whatever you wish, but this is how I do it. Um, I just keep going and then I do like one more right behind my ear and then I just keep twisting the rest of it then I have nowhere else to put my hair but in my mouth because it's a twist so if I tie it off it's just gonna untwist and this is this is the only way to secure it for me so I'm I'm probably gonna be silent for the rest of the rest of this braid actually I'll, I'll be back I'll be back when I finish the other braid Okay, I should have thought about this earlier, but once my two uh, side front braids are completed, I gather the rest of my hair and put it in a low ponytail. So that's what I'm going to do now. moving in right across from our apartment and they keep like walking back and forth in front of my window and my window is where I get my lighting so I have to like pause make sure they don't look at me and they're coming back I'm doing something else I'm writing something Oop, and they're passing right over me it's so awkward oh my god why does she look back Ew. anyways so this is what she looks like just it's all pulled back in a low pony and then obviously my hair is a little too long to be in regs so what I do is I braid it down to the bottom as well and I mean you you get what that looks like so I braid this part too and it makes it shorter and then obviously you can put gel in your hair I use the eco gel in that green thing that green jar and I just kind of paste down my strayaways because I don't I don't like this I don't like that look but basically I just kind of spread it little parts with a little toothbrush and just kind of comb back my baby hairs and then that's that look this is my favorite style dang I should have brought my gear so I could have demonstrated it anyways all these women are like I don't like it because it looks unprofessional no you're just not used to it and some people take advantage of the ponytail and wear it in a messy, non-professional looking way, which I understand that 
how that looks unprofessional, but for the most part, it's it's just better. I like it. We're gonna move on to facial care now. I just took my makeup off, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what I use. I don't know how to say this. I think it's my cellar. My cellar. I use this to take off my makeup and then just some cotton swab. Now I do still have mascara on. I just didn't feel like taking off my mascara. After I take off my makeup, I go ahead and use, also don't know how to say this, but this face wash. So we're gonna do that right now. After I've washed my face, I use Curology. After that, I go in with these serums. I have the Burst Antioxidant Serum, Boots uh, Vitamin C Serum, and then I'm just gonna do a pump. This is my skin after it's been cleaned. God, I really don't want to put makeup on again. I should have done this the other way, but I already had makeup on from the beginning of the day and I wanted to take it off. But now I gotta, never mind. So I honestly don't wear makeup usually when I'm working. Uh, I just don't feel the need to, but sometimes, sometimes I just, I wanna, I just wanna be my face a little bit. What I first use is some e.l.f. Uh, primer. The tiniest bit on my ring finger and go under my eyes and a little bit on my cheeks. Concealer near my bags. And then right here, cause I don't know why, but I've been getting like super red on the corner of my eyes. Get my beauty blender a little damp and I blend her out. We got a visitor. Say hi, Pook. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. putty primer. This one like almost disappears when you like start blending it, so. I mean, I like that for me. And then I'll eventually go over again with some actual like powder blush. And then after that, I will set my under eyes because my under eyes do crease. I use the Laura Mercier powder. I just keep it in this triangle right here, the powder. Nowhere else. We'll go in with some bronzer. I use the Butter Bronzer. Physicians formula really I'm just barely dusting it what I've been doing lately is putting a bit of shadow under my eyebrow and Then like bringing it down my nose then I do my eyebrows So for my eyebrows my eye I love my eyebrows. I really do so I just take my gel and I run it through my brows and then I like to do a little bit of highlighter. Try not to get it on the outsides of your face because, I mean, that's where your mask is gonna lay mostly, so. Oh, I just keep it right here. And I go to town on my nose because my mask doesn't really touch my nose. I like a very, I like a very highlighted nose. Last but not least, I go in with some chapstick, really. This is um, Kylie's 24 karat lip serum. And I set it all with my uh, Hydrate and Fix Revolution Spray. I don't tend to wear mascara just because if and when I do sweat. I don't wear waterproof mascara. I hate waterproof mascara. So I wear non-waterproof mascara and when I sweat, it just, it gets everywhere. So I don't like to wear mascara, but I would just curl them if you want the, a little extra oomph or a little bit of liner. I would um, flick out a little bit of liner just on the ends of my eyes. And that's really it, that is all, that's all I do. And that's all I wanna do if I'm going to work because I don't wanna have a full face on. So that is how I do my hair and makeup and take care of my face and face wash and all that when it comes to being a firefighter. Obviously follow the uh, regulations per AFI 36-2903. I think. Yeah, I hope this helped any of you ladies out there that are also pursuing becoming a firefighter in or outside of the Air Force and uh, helped you a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna go play with my new coffee machine. I'll see y'all later.